Hey guys, it's uh, Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials, uh, the Legit PC and the Legit Mobile. So we are back with the Unity tutorial and shortly after this the Construct 3 tutorial. So let's go ahead and talk uh, a little bit about um, finishing this game up. And uh, we do have a lot... Ow, my cat. Stop it, stop it. Please. Sorry, cat's sticking her claws at me. So it looks like we have most of the essentials down here, so we're going to spend this video to clean everything else up and start to work on the next set of objectives, which is to add more capabilities. Alright. So, let's go ahead and look here at the... Uh, so we have sound. Sound looks good. Uh, we did one where we recorded it in uh, uh, Audacity. So that's also good. So let's look at the scripts here. Let's see what else we could add. It's in my other screen, by the way. So let's play here. Oh, we need a back wall. That's number one thing to put. So, um, for right now, Let's put a fence, physics 2D, box collider, bam bam. Okay, so now, so that's number one. Now we do not have, um, we can't keep going infinitely. Eventually we're gonna hit the wall. Stand by. Cat's doing something over here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to see what my cat's doing. Maybe a second sound for when they're dead, I think. Let's see here. Hmm. So what we should do is we need to put an if else down here. Okay. Now But here it's going to basically destroy it. So we don't really have a way of doing it because basically this is being. Oh, this is only. And it's not looped. Hmm. Huh. So, let's see.
Okay. But it's going to keep playing this. Oops. Okay, and then let's do this. Let's do this down here. Okay. Let's go to Compilus and let's open back up Audacity. And let's make another sound. Ooh. Ooh. That's okay. Ooh. audio and I'm in my other screen the zombie death sound Shh. tigers over there on her chair uh, meow and Emmy okay Shh. okay so let's do zombie death sound made a mistake here somewhere but oh. okay <laughs> oops so what I did is I accidentally said this as play this is sound play Okay, so now, okay, and then I did it again down here. Sound play. Now, I need to go to my game controller, which I believe is my player. made a mistake. This here is supposed to be one. Alright, let's try it. Hmm. It did not sound like it played. Let's do a debug line here. Oh, this is in the wrong one.
This is in... If you get hit by a zombie. This is the one we're supposed to put in. Oh, okay. Oh, this is if I get hurt. I see. Or if the character gets hurt. Where does the zombie hit? Is that fire axe? We're gonna take the rest of it right here. And we're gonna have to put it here. And we're gonna have to take this and put it here. Oops. But this is where the issue is going to come in. So most likely what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go somewhere else and tell it to play because here I don't think it's gonna play it but let's see anyways because right here it's not playing it a second time is a complex issue here I do not think that this is going to work so I forgot here to put one line I do not think it's gonna work well, let's do it anyways Said a. Uh, I forgot to put an object in there. Where's the script? So Yeah, so this was the issue before. Hmm. Okay, so now let's look for a solution of having multiple um Uh, 
Ah, this is audio clip that shoot. Ah, you set the clip. Oh, the zero is the delay. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to send an audio clip called... Um, but can we do that? Hmm. So this is the audio source, and then we're gonna load the audio clip into the audio source, okay. So let's go back here. And so basically, we have an audio source. Then what it looks like is that this is that it basically can be a kind of a dynamic array where you don't have to exactly have uh, declare a size, it looks like. Yeah, so it's a dynamic array here. Good deal. Okay, so let's see, what does it say here? Okay. I'm pretty sure it's talking about that particular one. So let's go back here. Okay. Let's call it two. Okay. Zombie hit. Oops. Oh, so I'm going to need to copy this. Zombie death. Copy. Or just locate it here in my uh, folder. We locate it there. Find it again. Zombie death. Okay. So now, basically, we want to set the clip to either zero or one. And basically, it's this dot component audio source. But it still doesn't make sense why when he gets hit a second time, he dies, pretty much. This is not going to fix that. Hmm. Because obviously what's happening is it's not invoking that. It's killing him before he does it again. Let's see. Let's print the statement and see what happens. Mm. 
So it is playing it a second time, but it's just not letting it play long enough or something. So maybe that should be in the game controller. That when the zombie dies, and it's calling something. What is it here? It's it's calling some sort of uh, some sort of counter inside. It's calling some sort of counter here inside the zombie. That when it dies, goes into game controller, zombie death. So clearly this is not going to work. Oops. It's going to be here in the game controller and it's calling zombie death. Zombie death in the game controller. It's public static, so that's going to be an issue. I'm going to have to put a, uh, a this dot game control this dot uh, a this dot get component audio source play. Pretty much on zombie death because otherwise I'm not going to be able to set it inside of the uh, editor okay uh oh Missing some brackets I deleted. Hmm. Static this, maybe? Maybe if we create, maybe if we create a static public, shh, static public game object. I think it's lowercase. Maybe this dot game object. Oh, uh, game object. Let's call it GC. You like that one? Okay. 
Okay, so basically it looks like it's supposed to be capitalized. Okay, so now we only have, wait a sec. Hmm. So yeah, apparently here you're saying that you can just call a variable name. So maybe just do over here. What I'm thinking is that we make this. But how do we set? How do we set the? Uh, how do we set the? Um, sound though can we set it here Let's say public int can we do public int I mean public Does that work? Oh, made some misspellings there. to a static field hmm because the issue is not necessarily doing it what if I just call to this what if I just put a um, I know what I'm gonna do okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna do this basically the same thing as this so this is going to do this, and then this is going to go here, and it's going to say this dot, but not this. This is going to be game controller dot can get audio source play. Let's see, and then game controller. Let's get rid of all that other stuff. So this. Save it.
Okay. Hmm. So yeah, basically I need some sort of static something here so that it knows what it's talking to. But I call this, because this is a method, static method. This is not static, basically. Hmm. That's a very interesting question, and we didn't get very far in this video, which really irritates me. I might have to do another one or something. This is really irritating. <laughs> well, we have a uh, entrance and a closing space. Uh, I'm thinking that I'll a little bit more before the next time I figure out what this error is so I can share that with you guys I mean I do want to show this because you know this is what happens in game development you get stuck in some spots and again you know I'm showing you this guy this live so I can show you guys how I'm going about uh, troubleshooting it uh. I mean, we don't really need the death sound, but it would be nice to figure that out. So maybe we'll put that back on the drawing board for some other time when I have a chance to look through it and figure that out. In the meantime, everything here looks good. We might go in and uh, I'll find that other software, S-Bright, that's what it was called, S-Bright. I'll uh, find the S-Bright and figure out how to get my license back over because I believe it's on my other drive in here. Um, or do it in Construct or something like that. And then uh, do the rest of this hallway, extend this guy. Um, so you see concrete here, concrete here, so concrete all the way back, concrete all the way back. Um, and then put Alamo up here in text, um, even though this is in PSD, so might not be able to open it, but that's okay. And then we need to get uh, probably assets from that other that other um, uh, build that I did, but I mean we're already almost ahead of that build already. And I spent quite a bit of time on that build, but not as much time I, I don't think as this build. So we have some trees here around outside oh we do have a prison cage and then this is prison cage closed so we do have a prison cage open and a prison cage closed we do have a corridor but it won't let me drop it I think 
for some reason. Uh, there's the Alamo opening, and here's a zombie in the fence. So we do have uh, the door open, the door closed, so we can add that. But as of right now, aesthetically, we do have a finished game. <clears throat> the game is finished here. I mean, the only thing that we're missing is we're missing a reset button that just uh, reloads the map, pretty much. So that's what we need to do still. So. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's a working game. It's just we need something that uh, allows the uh, game to basically reset. And then we need to do some load testing where we have somebody uh, have, uh, run this game until uh, see if it fails with however many instances of zombies on the screen. I mean, even then, it's pretty basic. They just have their own instance variables as far as health and all that stuff. So, um, other than that, <laughs> oh, just got some stamina. I mean, right now we have nine on screen. I'm gonna try to get to that health or that stamina, but ooh, that might be a good idea. What about a health drop? So not a lot, not a lot done here, but I'll do some other footwork and uh, uh, I might reshoot this maybe, or uh, I might uh, take a break. Pretty tired. I mean, things have been going pretty crazy this week, so I might just wait till next week and uh, study up on this. I'm probably gonna abandon the whole death thing because the whole death sound is is uh, not quite. Um, I don't think as necessary. You just need to know that you hit them and then you're gonna see that they die because they disappear. So I think that that was kind of not exactly the most needed, but um, maybe in uh, maybe I'll stay a couple minutes over. Uh, I was gonna do Ava's game. Might do that tomorrow morning. I keep forgetting here. Sorting layer. That's not good. Should probably do a um prefab of these, but that's okay. And these two are a little too close together. And there we go. Mm. Well, a couple of them are floating. Mm. We maybe have, uh, have the trees mm. near the entrance and that's about it. So we have mm. a little bit cleaner look. But uh, overall, I mean, it's it's looking pretty good. So uh, we have a working game. We have fighting. We have an end. We have basically last as long as you can last. Otherwise, you're going to die. And uh, we don't have any sort of save game or anything like that, which still needs to be done. But everything that we have right now are all the essentials. All right, so I'll see what I could do about uh, some of these issues, and uh, we'll go forward. 
Thanks for watching. This has been Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials, um, Legit PC, and Legit Mobile. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.